Willowock, Foxtrot 9, Hotel Sierra. Name is Randy in uh, Conover, North Carolina. Roger, Randy, and the call is Kilo Foxtrot 9, Hotel Sierra. Is that a Roger? That is a Roger. Holy smoke, horseshoes, and some other adjectives have been used. <laughs> hey, Roger, Randy. And uh, what's your location, sir? I am in uh, Conover, North Carolina. All righty. And what radio are you running today, Randy? Uh, today we're on an old Flex 5000A. One of the first ones that they came out with uh, still has the three ports on the back and only used the third port for six meters. And so uh, it, it, it's been around a while, but it uh, seems to still work well. Roger, Roger, Andy. Well, if you would, sir, give me about 10 seconds. Tell me about your antenna system, and I'll look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Okay, Jim. This is Kilo. This is Kilo Fox 9. Hotel 9, Hotel Sierra, Camp 9 HS, have a ZS6 BKW up about 45 feet on one end and about 25 feet on the other, out to the trees here in the backyard. Uh, just got it up in the air and, and got it going here in the last few days and uh, getting back on the air after moving here from uh, down in Florida. So uh, we'll send it back to you, KC9, VKV, KF9 HS. Roger, Roger, Randy. Well, I found you uh, down in uh, in Georgia. Uh, you're about uh, like about uh, 17 over uh, the uh, Georgia SDR noise level. So you just got a, a beautiful signal down in Georgia, Roger. SDR noise level. So you just got a, a beautiful signal down in Georgia, Roger. Well, thank you, Jim. You are at this point about 10 over, 10 over, and of course have that good audio. Thank you, Randy. We have uh, some person that's uh, very, um, um, well, should I say, uh, uh, well, I shouldn't even say that. Uh, gosh, I, I wish they would develop a little bit better manners, though. But anyway, uh, Randy, uh, you're sounding really good, sir. Uh, again, now that i got a good copy on you, why don't you, why don't you tell me the best thing you like about your, your Flex uh, 5000? Tell me the best thing you like about your, your Flex uh, 5000. Oh, what I like about the Flex 5000 is the receiver, and uh, it, it's very quiet, very adjustable, and I guess I also like having the point and click with the mouse. I have a roller ball mouse here. I can set it on my leg and just roll around on the screen and make adjustments. Uh, we're, I, I should say we're doing about, oh, the OL8, AL800 is doing about 750 watts right now. Yes, sir, Randy, I'm looking at your audio, and uh, you're looking to be pretty unprocessed. Uh, we can fatten you up quite a bit, uh, and very clean audio. It uh, uh, starts uh, with uh, recognizing the fact that you want that radio to perform its uh, best, so that would be in the 100 to uh, 2900 uh, transmit bandpass mode, Roger. To uh, 2900 uh, transmit bandpass mode, Roger. Okay, I'm actually in the 200 to 29 right now, so you think I need to go down 100? Yes, sir. 100 to 2900 is uh, what I recommend, sir. Yes, sir. 100 to 2900 is uh, what I recommend, sir. main thing is that uh, 2900, uh, you know, we can always uh, fake the bottom end uh, through EQ, uh, but uh, once you start rolling, uh, you know, 2900 off, you, it's very hard to get that back through EQ. So we want to be uh, 100 to 2900 if, if we can, V, Roger. We want to be uh, 100 to 2900 if, if we can, V, Roger. Yeah, that's, that's where she's at now. I just dialed it down to there. Yes, sir. And uh, so then it would be a compressor on at a three and we begin a set of procedure. Compression on at a three. It's a token amount, something you'll never hear on the air, but it helps us with our 3 dB dynamic range at the end. So compression on at a three, Roger. Dynamic range at the end. So compression on at a three, Roger. Uh, compression is on at a three right now. 
Yes, sir. Now move to your AOC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, audio, stretch the word out. Uh, use it as a human signal generator. Uh, and as you say that word, you've got your mic gain in hand and adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running at two-thirds. And we used to say mid-range, mid-level to two, two-thirds, but this uh, way uh, it's so accurate that you can just two-thirds on that uh, mic gain with the word audio. Roger? Two-thirds on that uh, mic gain with the word audio. Roger? Okay. Audio. There we are. About two-thirds. Yes, sir. It's so simple. We, you know, we used to say, talk fast, and whatever, whatever, but, <laughs> but uh, that word, it's just such a beautiful word for setting your ALC. Uh, and uh, so uh, now, uh, gosh, uh, if you would, uh, uh, tell me uh, the best thing you like about amateur radio. <laughs> Let me listen to you a little bit more. About amateur radio. <laughs> Let me listen to you a little bit more. Okay, Jim. Uh, I, meeting people, talking to different people, and, uh, oh, I kind of, uh, I'm not much of a DX worker. I used to work a lot of states, but uh, just enjoy the hobby, enjoy getting in here and listening and then making a few comments every once in a while. Uh, KC9, VKV, KF9HS. Roger, Roger, Randy, and listening to your audio, you could use a little more top end. Now, I'm not sure exactly what kind of EQ you have, but if you happen to have a 2.7K, uh, that would be very interesting. That's our that's our uh, point of uh, uh, contention there. 2.7K uh, plus uh, three clicks boost uh, would be just uh, perfect with a width of four if you have a sh shaping capability. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I had to do. I have a 2K and a 4K, so I moved them both up a little bit. So this is the 2K and the 4K moved up. All righty, Randy. Let's uh, take that uh, 2K back to flat, and let's use the uh, 2.4K. Leave it where it is. Do you what? Do you have something above 2.4K? Leave it where it is. Do you what? Do you have something above 2.4K? N no. What I have is a 2K and a 4K and an 8K and a 16K. I see. Okay. Uh, yes, I understand. I understand. Uh, so, um, uh, let's see. Uh, you're there at, uh, what was that, uh, 2K, 4K? Is that the way that goes? You're there at, uh, what was that, uh, 2K, 4K? Is that the way that goes? Yes, yes, 2K and then a 4K. Okay, take your 4K to plus 5. 4K to plus 5. Uh, your 2K, uh, I would pull that back to... Uh, to f uh, flat, maybe maybe plus two. Try plus two, because I don't want you to go uh, go mid rangey, right? So we take that two K back to plus two, and that four uh, K to a plus five. And let me listen to you. And that four uh, K to a plus five. And let me listen to you. Okay, we brought the two K down and moved the four K. Uh, factor maxed out on the 4K right now. Okay, uh, take that 2K back to flat. Take 2K back to flat. So you should be flat from uh, 2K all the way down to 400 cycles. You should be flat. Roger? 2K okay, all the way down to 400 cycles. You should be flat. Roger? Well, I have the 1K up a little bit. You want me to drop the 1K? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the, the thing is, you you want to keep your mid ranges flat. That's the whole idea about uh, an EQ is to strike a balance from the top to the mid range and the bottom to the mid range. And if you boost the mid range, it's uh, so much harder for the top and the bottom to catch up. So we suggest all things from 400 cycles to uh, 1.6 k be flat, and that would include, in your case, that to 2 k. So it should be 2 k down to 400 cycles uh, should be flat, Roger? It should be 2K down to 400 cycles. It uh, should be flat, Roger? Okay, I dropped the 1K down and dropped the 2K down and we have the 4K uh, maxed out right now, which is at 15 dB. And that's, that's all there is on the high end with this microphone. 
Yes, sir. Now, I want you to go back to your uh, ALC and double check your level because we did some substantially queuing. And so when you do that, you need to go back to your ALC and double check your level. It's uh, audio. My gain to uh, two thirds on your ALC meter. Well, it's uh, audio. My gain to uh, two thirds on your ALC meter. Okay, ALC meter. Audio. Yep, we're still there about two thirds. Yes, sir. Because when you uh, start to pulling those mid ranges, uh, sometimes you can, uh, you know, your level will fall off. And the same thing about the the base. Uh, if you're cranking like 4 dB base boost, uh, uh, your ALC level will show elevated. Uh, but uh, I think you're in pretty good shape. I'd like to hear you just a little bit more. Uh, tell me, uh, let's see here uh, again about your antenna system, and uh, let me hear you uh, again about your antenna system, and uh, let me hear you. Okay, Jim. Antenna system here is a uh, ZS6 BKW dipole. One end's about 45 feet off the ground. The other end is about 25 foot off the ground. It's out here in the pine trees and the oak trees and uh, hid from the neighbors. Uh, I did have one neighbor ask about the wire, and I told him that if you put wire up in the trees, the UFOs will not bother you. Of course, he looked a little strange at me, and he goes, yeah, right. And I go, okay, you got me. It's an antenna. So uh, we, have, we haven't had any trouble from anybody else here. Uh, KC9 VKV, KF9HS. Roger, roger, Randy. Now, uh, on your low frequency, your bottom end, your base uh, there, uh, do you have uh, something around uh, 200 cycles, 190, 200 cycles? You have uh, something around uh, 200 cycles, 190, 200 cycles. Uh, yes, I do. All right, you try that uh, at a plus two from where you are. Plus two clicks additional uh, base EQ at uh, 200 or 190 cycles, whichever that is. EQ at uh, 200 or 190 cycles, whichever that is. Okay, it's 250 cycle. We moved it up uh, two clicks. We were at minus three and we're at... Uh, Plus three now, uh, plus three dB. So you went from a where to a what? I repeat that again. I'm sorry, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't cough you well. You went from a where to a what? I repeat that again. I'm sorry, I wasn't. Uh, I didn't cough you well. Okay, I went from minus three b, minus three dB, to plus three, which is about what it does with the click. Yes, sir. It sounds pretty good. I was just uh, thinking about a 3 dB boost, but th that sounds nice. You have, uh, you know, a little bit more bottom end and uh, a nice top end, so I would call it uh, close enough. Uh, get that duct tape out and, and taper it down. And if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search, or KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2300 uh, QSOV-LIGO check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. QSOV-LIGO check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Okay, Jim. Well, I appreciate it. It, it, it stayed nice and clear. It didn't get too boomy. No, it's clear as a tack. Just beautiful. No, it's clear as a tack. Just beautiful. Okay, Jim. Well, hey, I appreciate it. 73s, take care out there. Uh, KC9 VKV, KF9 HS. Roger, roger, Randy. Now, if you, what you could do is uh, leave your ALC meter out. It'll give you something to do during your QSO uh, to be able to look at your ALC meter as you speak. And uh, the idea is to develop a relationship between your ALC meter, uh, you know, and uh, that you can control that with your voice to keep it right in the sweet spot. So uh, if you just uh, keep that ALC meter out and uh, look at it as you dialogue, and the idea is to keep Keep that uh, meter right in the uh, sweet spot, Roger. And the idea is to keep that uh, meter right in the uh, sweet spot, Roger. Okay, sounds good. I usually run with the uh, ALC meter up or the SWR meter, and then, of course, have the uh, watt meter on top and the uh, signal meter on top there. I have the meter going too. Good, Jim. Yes, sir, Randy, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, that's about going to do us for now. Uh, I see on the clock, on the wall, there's a dead fly. Ooh, so we got to get out of here.
if you uh, in you know we're involved in the broadcast and want to hear it, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording on the YouTube search, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So uh, we'll say 73 all. Uh, we've enjoyed it. Hope you have. And uh, this is KC9 VKV returning this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor, clear.